Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Information Technology. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some important tips and tricks which you probably didn't know before. Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification about new tutorials that I will upload in the future. So let's get started. Number one. How to find the definition of a specific term, device or subject? Let's say you need the definition of computer for your school project and need to get this definition quickly from the internet. Just type define and then the definition of anything that you want to look for. In our case, I need to find the definition for computer. So I will type define computer. As I press the search button, it brought me the definition of computer. The same, I can search for the definition of internet. Define internet. And it will show me the definition of the internet. I can copy and paste this definition anywhere I want. Our second tip for today is Control Shift plus T. I have opened my Gmail account in this tab and for some reason I accidentally closed the tab. Instead of going to the history and then finding the last tab you closed, you can simply press the Ctrl plus Shift plus T shortcut and it will open the tab you have just closed. 3. How to search the internet for specific words or sentences and find the topics that have the exact wording in the search result. For this purpose, we can put the words we want to search for in double quotation and press enter. Here I want to search for the advantages and disadvantages of internet. You can see that all the results shown here have the exact wording of advantages and disadvantages of internet. Tip number four. How to open two Gmail accounts when you have only one browser installed in your computer? The Google Chrome has an option called incognito mode. So I have opened one of my Gmail accounts in here. Now I go to the top right of the browser and choose incognito mode. Go to the Gmail and sign in with a different Gmail account. Now you can see both of your emails. Did you know that you can search by image in Google? Let's say I have an image of a famous person and I need to get information about that person. I can simply upload the image I have in my computer and Google will search and bring the information about that person for me. Here I am uploading the picture of Afghanistan's ex-president Hamid Karzai. As you can see, it has brought me a lot of information about Hamid Karzai. 6. When you search in Google, it provides different results for you. And instead of right-clicking on each link and choosing Open in New tab, we can hold the Control button and press on the link. It will open the link in a new tab for us. If you have a favorite channel in YouTube that you always follow and watch their tutorial to solve your problems, you know you can do the root search. I want to search for how to make a bootable USB drive. I can simply type bootable USB and then the name of the channel. In this case, information technology. When I press the enter button, it will show me the result for bootable USB within the information technology channel. If you want to make a new folder on the desktop, we usually right click and choose new and from there we choose new folder. But there is an easy way to do this. On your keyboard, just press Ctrl plus Shift plus N. Give your folder a name and press Enter. If you need to download applications and software for your PC, you can visit the filehepo.com website. Most of the apps and software in this website are free and secure. Just search for the software you want and simply download it. Let's say you are at a friend's house. You want to use their computer which is connected to the internet, but it doesn't have the MS Office package installed in their PC. And you need to urgently use the MS Word software. 
you can go to the Microsoft Office website, log in with your username and password, choose the Word document, type the text and go to Save As. Give it a name and enter. Or you can export the document as a PDF file. That's all I have for you in this tutorial today. If you like this tutorial, then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Have a good day.